Okay, so what do you do when you feel like you don't want to go to the gym? I got an answer. What do you do when you don't feel like going to the gym? That's what we're going to discuss in this video. It's me, it's Bree, it's you, it's a heavy back training, and we're going to talk about it right now. What's good, YouTube? You know who it is, the sexy as hell one, me, Lamont Tyson. What is your nickname? Breezy Bree. Breezy Bree, hit her on Instagram. And what was your question again, Breezy Bree? So what do you feel like, what do you do when you don't feel like going to the gym? Well, that's an easy answer because we are on the Life Gains channel. And what are Life Gains? We call that making improvements, improve, improving the quality of your life. And when you don't feel like going to the gym, you could do like I do. You make like a tree and you leave. And you go eat donuts. That's what you do. No, I'm playing. No. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. What you want to do is go back and revisit what was the inner motivation for you to get started in the first place. What I personally do, I post my goals all over my house. I post inspirations of what I want to be all over my house. I've got one in the Sex as Hell YouTube studio. I've got some on my refrigerator. And I go back and revisit what is that inner motivation. And I look at those things on the days I don't feel like going to the gym. What do you do? Yeah, just a little bit of that. Um, also, I try to get a, a gym partner. So somebody that, you know, will motivate you when you're feeling down and don't feel like flowing. And then a little bit of vice versa. Um, and definitely just know that once you get there, it's not going to be as bad as you think. Like, you'll feel great when you leave. And, you know, that'll be the extra push that you may need for the rest of the week. That's right. And sometimes that gym partner might not show up for you either. That's why it's got to be something real deep in your heart. You write down your goals and you post them so that when you really are leaving work and all those smells are smacking you all up in the nostrils and you're just going to be like, no, you keep going. Bree, you ready to hit an intense back workout? Yeah. Y'all ready to see us hit an intense back workout? We're getting ready to do it. Follow us both as we go through this workout. Cool. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Strike some kind of a, what, what's your sexy pose? Strike a pose. This is going to be my thumbnail. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know about Bree, but I certainly didn't want to be here today. And our reps and schemes, we're doing three sets. We're going to 12, then we're going to drop down to eight and six and try to keep it heavy. So we started out by doing some pull-ups to warm up the back. Ladies, if you can't do a full pull-up, Drop up, jump up there and hold it the way Bree is doing. Try to hold it for five seconds or more. Next is my heavy set where I'm strapping in with 45 pounds and I'm going to try to get about six to eight good pull-ups. Get that back ready to go, trying to put some mass on the back. I want to look like some of them people on TV. I want to have a nice back, a good back. And I started to get tired at the end because that 45 pounds is like having a child between your legs. Next, we're doing pull downs. I didn't get my setup here, but this is Bree. And on these exercises, you want to pull hard and fast. The further you get your elbows behind your back, the more you engage your back. And pulling it fast allows you to take your bicep and your wrist out of play. So work it hard, work it fast. Pull, pull, pull. Low pulley rows. If you follow Chris, Ch Chris Jones' channel, you know what else he says for that. And Bree is getting it in nice and hard. Keep your chest up and just pull, pull hard. Hard and fast is the key with back. And here I go getting my set in and I'm pulling hard. But like I said, I was sucking wind. This was Friday. It's a Friday training. You know, the week done beat you up. You done did all your other training. So this took a lot of energy. So I, was, I struggled it out, but I got it in. Next, we're doing some bent over rows. Real good exercise. Put some meat on your back. See, Bree is getting it in with that bar. She's got her 25 pounds up there, and she's throwing it up there nice and smooth. And here I go with 225, and this was a struggle again. But, hey, you got to do it. If you got goals and you're trying to get there, you're going to have struggle days. And on those struggle days, that's why I said you've got to find that inner motivation to keep you going. Next, we did bent over dumbbell rows and these are real good for putting meat on your back too really really good for building the back make sure you use good form you pull it hard 
and you do it with each arm. One of us in this video was about to skip an arm. So you know somebody's body is going to be bigger on one side than the other one. We ain't going to say no names. It wasn't me. And here I am getting my set in, pulling as hard as I can. And we're really, really close to the end of this workout. And I was just counting my lucky stars because I was tired. And then I switch and get over here on this side. You pull hard. Really, really good back workout to get some meat on your bones to really give you that kite that you're looking for on your back. Last but not least, we do some pullovers. And this works really, really good for that little muscle that's right underneath your armpit. Kind of sticks out like a kite or a cobra. Depending upon which one of the analogies you like the best, that's what it does. And you want to stretch this back as far as you can go with comfort and pull it on over across the top. Some cats do this with chest too. You could do it chest or back, but really just squeeze on getting it back behind your head to engage the back. And that was our workout for the day. We did all this volume, three sets, 12, eight, and six. Go and hit it at your leisure. How you feeling, Bree? Tired. How you back feel? Not you, how your back feel? My back feels good. I mean, I know it's gonna be sore tomorrow for sure. But... Yeah, so did I help you get through the workout? Yes, for sure. Is that what you gotta do when you don't feel like going to the gym? Yes, for sure. Sometimes you have to motivate yourself to get through it if you don't have somebody with you, but. You sure do, you gotta motivate yourself. But if you're looking for somebody to help you get through it, I'm here for you. What was your experience like when we was working together? Um, it was good. I felt like you, you know, taught me a lot of different things to do just so I can be coached enough, well enough to be on my own once I got out there. So. Only thing I couldn't do was her hair, by the way. And this is all real, too. Look at that. I started to take a lot and stick it right here. You know how we get down. It's about laughs. So that is going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like the video, comment, and subscribe. We're about to go get our post-workout meals because it got real in here. And until the next Sex is Hell video or training, we'll see you.